Hello, modern steaders. It's Friday, and you know what Friday is. Friday is modern steader update. It's 48 degrees out right now. We still got a whole lot of snow, but it's melting. Let's go, let's get the water ready for the animals. Then we'll feed them. We're gonna have to check on the sap. I'm thinking the sap has probably been running good today. We got the chicks out in New York City. We'll have to check on them and see how they're doing. The chickens have been locked in the winter greenhouse. They haven't been able to go into New York City. What do you think of that, Andy, huh? No New York City? He don't care. Luckily, I never removed the nesting box. So having the chickens locked out here, they still have nesting boxes to use, which is awesome. We've been having a lot of rogue chicken and ducks lately, and I'll tell you what. Pluto has fun chasing them around. You're crazy. Pluto won't hurt the chickens, but the chickens do not like her near them. Oh, the ducks came back in. She's the chicken and duck wrangler, I guess. Leave them alone, they don't want you bugging them. Now it was 18 degrees out, I believe this morning. It wasn't any higher than that. So I'll be curious to see the sap that's in the 55 gallon drum, if that froze overnight and if it's still frozen right now. How you girls doing? The pigs are doing awesome. I'm gonna have to weigh them with the tape measure soon to figure out how much they weigh now and how accurate we are when it comes time to harvest them in a few more weeks. Luna likes the chickens, but the chickens don't like her. Before we head back and before we head to New York City, we got a tree right here that's tapped. Let's see how much sap we can expect. Oh, I would have thought more. I mean, it's a good amount, but it's not. It is dripping. I would have thought a little bit more today with how warm it is. Been nice having the chickens just free ranging around. Pluto likes it too, huh? They're making a muddy mess, that's for sure. See all the chicks are like in New York City. They look nice and healthy. They're all throughout using the cave, all the corners, the feed's getting eaten. And you can, I can tell they've been using the horizontal nipplers and drinking from the five gallon drum. So that's good. 
I like to see that. Looking good. It's nice when a last minute plan comes together and works out. I wasn't too sure what we are gonna do with the chicks since we got all the snow still. I'm gonna clean out two of my sap pails. So that way I can walk around and collect some sap and not bring the tractor and not have to walk back and forth with buckets. But I need to clean them so I want to make sure there's not any bad remnants of sap or anything nasty in here that will contaminate the fresh sap. Does that make sense? What are you doing, you little lone chicken? I can see you. <laughs> Got the ducks out. We normally don't just let the chickens free range like that, but it's kind of nice seeing them around the homestead that way. Whoa, it had some character to the place. Definitely some slush still in the bottom of the barrel. Oh, I can't wait to bring you in and show you the tomatoes. They're doing amazing. <laughs> this bucket's from one tree. I treated good for the day. To get the ducks out of the outdoor kitchen. That ain't a place for you to stay. There you go. I don't want them in the outdoor kitchen pooping it up. Whew. That would not have been good. We got a good amount, but we didn't do as good as I was hoping we were going to do. But we still got quite a few more days till we boil. I'm not gonna tell you how much. I'll have to come back for our boiling video if you wanna know, but I think we did pretty good for the day. Let me go get the temperature probe and we'll check and see how cold the sap in the bucket is. 
All right, let's lower it down in. Oh man, it don't wanna work. Well, that's not good. It's broken. <sighs> it's always something, I tell you. <sighs> we'll have to get that fixed before we boil our sap again. We need a thermometer so that way we can know when it goes from sap to syrup. If we go too long, it'll turn into candy. I don't want candy. I want maple syrup. Let's go in the house and we'll check on the tomatoes. They're doing amazing. Figaro is enjoying the box our fruit came in. What are you doing? Hey. What are you doing in there, mister? Crazy cat. <laughs> These tomatoes are amazing. I need to raise the grow lights up again already. Look at them. Bam, woo. Look how thick those stalks are. They're not quite as thick as a pencil yet, but they're getting there. I'm gonna have to transplant them like within a day or two. Whew. Look at that. These are the ones that were under the LED grow lights. They're catching up, they're a little stocky, but they're getting there and they're doing good. I'm happy with them. I mean, that one's just amazing. The peppers are still doing okay. I'm happy with the peppers. The celery, yeah. They're still hanging in there and they're doing good. They're just not as good as I was hoping. And the other peppers are doing good. Once our three day pasture to plate whole hog culinary class is over with in the middle of April, I'm gonna br bring all of the plants out into the outdoor kitchen. And that'll be like our greenhouse because that's self-facing all the glass windows. And we'll have all the, the seed starts out there, which will, that, that'll just let them do amazingly. All the chicks are out of our brooder. If you haven't seen the video where we build our brooder, I'll put a link to that video right here. But I'm keeping it set up because in a couple of weeks we got our meat birds coming. So that'll be exciting. So there's one thing I want to share with you with turning on notifications on YouTube. This goes for most channels, not all of them. But when you say you don't get all the notifications, this is why. Let me show you a little trick. If you go, I can't do it to ours, but I'm going to be on Jake from White House on the Hill. I'm on his page. I'm going to focus in right here to where it says subscribe. Then you click on the bell. That's gonna bring me to notifications and then send me all notifications. And that's not what I wanna see to be honest with you. Let me go back and try a different channel. Not all channels are this way. Let's go to, let me check out Justin Rhodes' channel. If we hit notifications. All right, this is what I wanted to show you. It is giving me an option, notifications for Justin Rhodes, all, occasional, or none. So you need to let YouTube know if you wanna always get notified when we upload a video, go live, or put something on our community tab. If you only occasionally want to, and they'll send them to you when they feel like it, or you don't wanna receive them at all. Once you've selected what you want, you hit save. But the funny thing is, is it doesn't happen for everybody's channel. It's only for certain channels and it's only for some people. That is something that YouTube's algorithm takes into account and they decide whose channel you can choose that for. So if you're not getting all of our notifications, go in and check that out and see if you can update your settings. I wanna see if I change the batteries in that thermometer, we can see how cold the sap is. I swapped out the batteries and that fixed it. How exciting is that? Let's see what the temperature is now.
Down to 38 so far. 37. Thirty-six. So, so far that's colder than a refrigerator. Thirty-six. We're gonna call it a thirty-six. Here it is, forty-eight degrees out outside. We were able to keep the sap thirty-six degrees. That's colder than my refrigerator. My refrigerator is set to thirty-eight degrees. So we're in good condition there. I'm excited. It's supposed to be get cold again tonight and warm up tomorrow. So we'll be collecting more sap. That'll be exciting. Thanks for coming along on our crazy journey with us here at Lumna Acres. We always have a good time. If you're new to the channel, now's a perfect opportunity to subscribe. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.